In today's lesson, we shall be looking at a very foundational topic in mathematics, and that is algebraic expressions. First, we'll be looking at addition and subtraction of like terms, and then also we'll be looking at expanding brackets. That is, if we have A multiplied by B plus C, that is the distributive law. So we say A times B, and then A times C. And also, if you have a into bracket b minus c, the same thing, a times this, we have a b minus a c. And then also, we're looking at multiplication of two binomials. That is, if you have probably a plus b times c plus d. And then also, uh, if we have probably a plus b or to the part, how do we? expand this. It's going to be a very interesting lesson. Now let's consider the first example. That is simplified the following way on addition and subtraction of like terms. Now, so our first one we have 3x plus 4x. So here 3x plus 4x is just 7x. Now our second one we have 5p, so we have 5p minus 3p plus p. Now, 5p minus 3p, that is 2p. Now, 2p plus p, and this would be, that is 3p. Now, let's see the third one. We have 4x plus 5y plus 6x plus 7 y in this case we have two different variables that is x and y so first we are supposed to do a group like terms so we'd have 4x plus 6x then plus 5y plus 7y let's see so we have 4x and then 6x we bring it together 5y and 7y we bring it also together now, 4x plus 6x, and this is just 10x. And then 5y plus 7y, this is just 12y. Very, very simple. Let's see the fourth question. We have 5a plus 8b plus 2a plus b. So here we have two different variables. So it suffices us to group the like terms. So here we have 5a and 2a, they are the same. So you see 5a plus 2a. And then we have what? 8b plus b. Now 5a plus 2a, this is just 7a. And then 8b plus b, this will just give us 9b. This is very simple. Now let's see the fifth question. We have 2p minus q minus 3q minus 5p. So first, all that we are supposed to do is to group like terms. There's a p here, there's also a p over there. So we have 2p minus 5p minus q minus 3q. So 2p and negative 5p, they are the same because of the variables p, p, then q, q. Now, 2p minus 5 P. That is negative 3p. Negative 3p. And a negative q minus 3q. That is negative 4q. Now let's see the sixth question. The sixth question says if you have, you have 10 plus 3c plus 5d minus 7c plus d. So first, what are you supposed to do? Group like terms. Now we have 10 constant, there's nothing attached to it. So let's write it there. Now we have 3c, so we bring the c's together. So we have 3c minus 7c, 3c minus 7c, and then we have 5d plus d. So plus 5d plus d. Now, so 10, we just bring it there because there's no constant anywhere. Now what is 3c minus 7c? 3 minus 7 is negative 4, so that would be negative 4c. 
And then let's come to the D, 5D plus D. And this is just giving us 6D, not C, 6D, 6D, 5D plus D. That is giving us 6D. Now let's see question number 7. We have 4Y plus 2X minus 3 plus 3X plus 8. Now, from here, what do we do? We have to group like terms. You have to group like terms. Now, 4Y, do you have any Y? No, there's no Y. So let's bring the 4Y first. Now, let's see the X. So we have 2X and then 3X. So plus 2X minus plus 3X. Because here, this and this, the same. Now, we can see minus 3 plus 8. So 8 and negative 3. No um, variables attached to it, so they are the same. Now, we have our 4y. 2x plus 3x. They are the same, so we can add them, and that would give us 5x. Now, negative 3 plus 8 is just 5. So, plus 5. Now, let's see question number um, 8. Question number 8, we have 5c minus d minus 3d minus 2c so first what are we supposed to do group like terms so you have 5c minus 2c so that is 5c minus 2c let's see here minus d let's see here minus 3d now 5c minus 2c this is just negative no 5 minus 2 that is 3 so 5c minus 2c, this is just 3c. Negative d minus 3d, so that will be uh, negative 4d. Now let's see question number 9. Question number 9. We have 5a plus 4b minus 2a minus b plus 3a minus 2b. So first, what that we are supposed to do is to group like terms. So we have 5a minus 2a plus 3a. Your group is with a, a, a. Bring all of them together. Let's see the b. Plus 4b minus b minus 2b. Now 5a minus 2a, that is 3 a plus 3 and this will give us 6 a 4b minus b this will give us 3b 3b minus 2b that'll be just b i believe this is very easy and it is a foundational topic for you to do well in mathematics this should be your foundation if you are strong with this you'd enjoy maths now let's consider the next example. So we have I 5W, say that we should simplify the following. 5W plus 7P squared minus 4W plus 3P squared. So our I, 5W plus 7P squared minus 4W plus 3P squared. So all that we are supposed to do first, we have to group like terms. So there's W here, there's W here. Let's bring the Ws together. So that will be 5w minus 4w. Now we can see 7p squared, p squared, p squared. Bring the p squared together. So plus 7p squared plus 3p squared. Now 5w minus 4w and this is giving us just w1. So there's w. Now 7p squared plus 3p squared and this is just 10p squared. Your p squared, p squared. So 7 plus 10 giving, 7 plus 3 giving us 10. Now let's see the second question. We have 4 plus x plus 4xy plus 2xy plus 5x. So first, what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to group like terms. So here we have 4. There's no constant, so we just leave it like that. 
Now let's come to x. We have x, so plus x. Do you have x here? Yes, there's x here, so plus 5x. Now let's see, we have here 4xy, so plus 4xy plus 2xy. Now we group like terms and we can up down. Now for we can add 4 to x because they are different things. So 4, we just have our 4x plus 5x and that will give us 6x. Now 4xy plus 2xy, so xy, xy, they are saying we can add and this will be 6x. XY. So that 4 plus 2, which is x. So we just have 6xy. Now let's see the third question. The third question we have 12mn plus 3m plus 2n plus 5nm. So first we group like terms. We can see mn, mn, we bring it together. So we have 12mn plus 5nm plus 3m plus 2n. Now, mn is the same as nm. From multiplication, we know 2 times 3, which is 6, is the same as 3 times 2, which is also 6. So this is the same as that. Hence, 12mn plus 5nm is the same as 12 plus 5, which is what, 17, and we have mn, why this is the same as that. Now, 3m and 2, and we can't add them, so we just leave it like that. Now, let's see the fourth question. We have 3x squared plus 6xy minus 3y squared plus 4x squared minus 8xy plus 2y square. Now first, all that you're supposed to do is to group like terms. So you can see x square here, there's x square, so you can bring it together. So that is 3x square plus 4x square. Now you can see xy, there's also xy here. Let's bring it together. So plus 6xy minus 8xy. Now you can see negative 3y squared, so minus 3y squared um, plus 2y squared. Now, 3x squared plus 4x squared, that is 7x squared. 3 plus 4 is 7, and then you just bring the x squared to it. Now, 6xy minus 8xy. So 6 minus 8 this is giving us negative 2. So here we have negative 2xy. Why 6 minus 8 that's negative 2. Now we have negative 3y squared plus y squared. And that is what negative y squared because negative 3 plus 2 that's negative 1 and then you add the y squared to it. Now let's see the last one, the fifth one. We have 4xy, z, minus 3xy, plus 2xz, minus xyz. Now, first, what are you supposed to do? Group like terms. Let's see, we have 4xyz. I think there's also xyz. So you can bring it together. So we have... 4xyz minus xyz. Now we have minus 3xy plus 2xz. Now this and this are totally different. We can put them together. So xyz, xyz, we can bring this together. So 4 minus 1, that is 3. So we have 3xyz. And then we have negative 3xy plus 2xz. Our next subtopic is expanding brackets. And here, the distributive properties are used over here. That is, if we have a, b plus c, so then a will multiply the b first. So we have a, b, then a will multiply the c, so plus a, c. And also, if you have a, b minus c, 
A times B, that is AB. And then A times C, so minus AC. Now let's consider the following examples for better understanding. Now let's consider the following examples. So the it says we should simplify the following. And then our first one, we have 7, we have x plus 5, multiplying that. So applying the distributive property, 7 times x, that will be just 7x. Seven, 7 times 5, 7, 5, 35. So that will be plus 35. Now let's see the second one. We have 4, 2m minus 3n. So first, 4 times 2m. 4 times 2, that's it. So you get 8m. 4 times 3, but we have negative. So that will be negative 12 and because 4 times 3 is 12 and then we bring the minus now let's see the third one we have x x minus 3 now x times x here when the bases are the same we add the exponent so here we have 1 plus 1 that's 2 so we are going to get x square that is we are multiplying x times x so we have 1 here plus 1 here that'll be what x to the power 2. Now, but if you have x plus x, this is equal to 2x. And then if you have x times x, here the power here is 1, 1. So you are going to get x1 plus 1, which is x to the power 2. So here we are multiplying, that's why we are adding. But when you are adding, you get 2x. Now, x times 3, that will be negative 3x. Now, let's see the fourth one. We have 3y, 4y, minus 3. Now, 3 times 4, that is 12. y times y, y to the power 1 plus y to the power 1, that will be y to the power 2. 3 times 3 is 9. Now, let's consider the fifth one. So, we have 2m m plus 3. Now, 2m times m. So 2 times 1, we have 2. m times m, that will give us m squared. 1 plus 1, giving us 2. Now 2m times 3m, that is 6m. Now let's see the seat one. We have a, a to the power 3 plus 3. Now with this, when we are multiplying, applying the distributive law, this to the power and this to the power, and because we are multiplying the base are the same, 1 plus 3, that will be 4. So that will be a to the power 4. And then a times 3, we have plus 3a. Now let's consider the following examples. 6 expand and simplify the following. Now the first one, we have 2x minus 2 plus 2x plus 3. Uh, so first, what are you supposed to do? Apply the distributive rule and then expand this. So 2 times x, that is 2x. 2 times 2, you have negative. 2 times 2, that is 4. Plus, now, 2 times x, this is giving us 2x. And then plus 2 times 2, that will be 6. From here, from our earlier knowledge, what do we do? We group like terms. So that will be 2x plus 2x. There's 2x here, there's 2x here. We bring it together. Then minus 4 plus 6. Now, 2x plus 2x, and this is giving us 4x. Negative 4 plus 6. And this is giving us, that is positive 2. Now, let's see our second one. We have 4, 2r minus 3, minus 5, 6r plus 9. Now, we have to apply the distributive property. 4 times 2r, that is just 8r. And then 4 times negative 3, that is negative 12. And then here, negative 5 um, times 6r, that will be negative 30r. Negative 5 times positive 9, that's negative 45. Now, from here, what do we do? We group like terms. So, we have... 8r minus 
r we have minus 12 minus 45 now what is 8r minus 30r 8 minus 30 this giving us negative 22 so you have negative 22 r and the negative 12 minus 45 this is just negative 57 that is very easy i believe you are enjoying it now let's see the third one 3 m plus 4 minus 2 we have 4 m plus 1 now 3 times m that is 3 m 3 times 4 we have 12 minus this time this that will be negative 8 m negative 2 times 1 that is negative 2 now from here what do we do we group like terms so you have 3 m minus 8 m plus 12 minus 2 now 3 m minus 8 m this will give us negative 5 m and then 12 minus 2 this is just 10. now let's consider the fourth question we have 5 p plus 3 minus 2 and then we have 1 minus 2 p so we have to apply the distributive property 5 times p that's just 5p and then 5 times 3 this is 15 now negative 2 times 1 that would be negative 2 and the negative times negative is positive so that would be plus 2p we know negative times negative this will give us positive negative times positive is negative and then positive times negative is also negative so it is only when we have negative times negative that's why we get positive so negative here times negative here that's giving us positive now from here what do we do we group like terms so we have 5p and then 2p so we have 5p plus 2p and then we have 15 minus 2 now 5p plus 2p this is just 7p and 15 minus 2 this is giving us 13. now let's consider the fifth one we have x plus 3 minus 2 4 plus x and then we have plus 5x minus 4. now from here we have x plus 3 negative 2 times positive 4 that would be negative 8 negative 2 times positive x that would be negative 2x we have plus 5x minus 4 now from here what do we do we group like terms so we have x negative 2x and then 5x so here we have x minus 2x plus 5x or the x x minus 2x plus 5x now let's see the constant we have 3 minus 8 minus 4 now x minus 2x that is negative x plus 5x that is positive 4x now we have 3 minus 8 that is negative 5 negative 5 minus 4 and this is just negative 9 so we have 4x minus 9 now let's consider this example now the first one we have 4b plus 2 b minus y minus 5 b plus 3 so here we have 4b now over here we have to apply the distributive property 2 times b that will give us 2b now we have 2 times negative y that's negative 2y now negative 5 times b that's negative 5b negative 5 times positive negative times positive is negative so 5 3 15 so that will be negative 15. now from your group like terms we can see 4b 2b negative 5b so we have 4b plus 2b minus 5b we have minus 2y minus 15. now 4b plus 2b that is 6b 6b minus 5b that's just one so we have b so b minus 2y minus 15. there's nothing that we can do about it now let's see the 
second one, 4x plus 3y minus 5z minus, here we have minus 2, 2x minus 3y plus 4z. Now, from here, what do we do? We first have to, here there's one multiple, so 1 times everything is just 1. It's just the same, 1 times this is just the same thing, so that will be 4x plus 3y minus 5z. Why? There's one here, one multiplied by everything. It's just the same thing. Now, minus 2 times 2x, so that will be negative 4x. Negative 2 times negative, so we have positive 6y. Negative times positive, negative 2 times 4, that's it. We have z here. You just bring the z. Now, from here, what do we do? We group like terms. So we have 4x and negative 4x. We group them. So we have 4x minus 4x. What do you have here? Plus 3y plus 6y. And then we have negative 5z minus 8z. Now, 4x minus 4x, the same thing. Negative, so that's 0. 4x minus 4x, that's 0. 3y plus 6y, this is giving us 9y. And the negative 5 minus 8z, that is negative 13z. Now let's see the third one. 6x minus 5z plus 3y. Then we have negative, we have 5y minus 2x plus z. So first we have to apply the distributive property here and then expand. So 2 times 6, that will be 12x. 2 times negative 5, that is negative 10z. 2 times 3y, that is 6y. We have, this time, this, that's negative 5y. Negative times negative, that's positive. So we have plus 2x. You know here, there's 1 here. Negative times z, that's negative z. Now, from here, what do we do? We group like 10. 12x. Now, there's x here, so we have plus 2x. And this will give us minus 10z. We have negative z over here. So we have 6y minus 5y. Now, 12x plus 2x. This is just 14x. Now, negative 10z minus z. That is negative 11z. 6y minus 5y. This is just plus y. Now, let's see the fourth question. That is, we have 3x minus, we have p minus x minus, we have r minus p. Now, so we apply the distributive law here and then over there as well. So the first one, we have 3x. Now, negative times p, that is negative p. Negative times negative, we have positive x. Negative times r, we have negative r. Negative times negative, we have positive p. Why negative times negative is positive. Now here you have 3x plus x. So that will be 3x plus x. Now negative p plus p. So we have negative p plus p. And then the last one we have minus r. Grouping like 10. Now 3x plus x. This will just be 4x. Now negative p plus p. That will be 0. So minus r. Now let's see the fifth question. So we have x, y, plus z, plus y, x, plus z minus z, x, plus y. So we have to apply the distributive property. Now x times y, this is just x, y. x times z, this is just x, z. Now, y times x, this is just x, y, or y, x. Now, y times z, this is just y, z. Negative z times z, that's negative z, x, or x, z. And then this time, this is just negative z, y. Now, from here, we group like terms. We have 
xy here. Do you have any xy yet? There's xy there. So you have xy plus xy. Now let's see here. xz, we have negative zx. So you have xz and a negative zx. Now this is the same as, you can rewrite this as xz. It's the same thing. And then what is the thing? What is the next thing we have? yz minus zy. Now, xy plus xy, that's 2xy. But please note, xz and zx are the same thing. 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2. So this is 0, this also 0. So our final answer is x, 2xy. I believe you have understood it. If not, play the video again for better understanding. Don't forget, no pain, no gain. Now let's consider the following past question. It says that, what is the result of subtracting 3x squared minus 4x minus 1 from 4x squared plus x plus 1? Now let's note, before, let's note this. Now, if you have a minus b. Now, this is read as subtracting b from a. So if you have a minus b, we read this as what? Subtracting b from a. Hence, hence, therefore the first we are going to, to subtract this from this. So which will come first? This will come first. So you have 4x squared plus x plus 1 minus this. So we have 3x squared minus 4x minus 1. So here you read this as subtracting this from this. The way we subtract this from that. Now, so we have 4x squared plus x plus 1. Why there's one here? One more time by everything. We have this. But if you have negative 1 here, negative 1 times 3, that's negative 3x squared. Now, negative 1 times negative 4, that will be positive. So negative times negative, that's what positive. Not negative times negative, we have positive 1. Now, we have 4x squared minus 3x squared. So that is 4x squared minus 3x squared, grouping like terms. Now, let's see x plus 4x. So we have x plus 4x. And then let's see 1 plus 1. You have plus 1 plus 1. Now, 4x squared minus 3x squared, this is just giving us x squared, x plus 4x. And this is just giving us 5x, 1 plus 1. And this is just 2. Now, that is the first one. Uh, the first one and then the third one look alike, so let's deal with the third one. Let's deal with the third one. Now, subtracting this from this. So here's, you're going to write this one first. So that will be 4y minus x minus 2z minus, we have negative y plus 3x plus 5z. And from here, we have a equal to 1 times everything here. You're going to get the same thing. So you have 4y minus x minus 2z. Now negative times negative, that is positive y. Negative times 3, we have negative 3x. Negative times positive, that is negative 5z. Now from here, what do we do? We group like terms. So we have 4y and y. So 4y plus y. Now we have negative x minus 3x. We have negative x minus 3x. And then here we have negative 2z minus 5z. Now 4y plus y. This will give us what? 5y. Negative x minus 3x. That's negative 4x. And the negative 2z minus 5z. This is just negative 7 Z. Now let's see the second question. Say that we should subtract this from the sum of this and that. So if you have a minus b, we are saying that we are subtracting b from a. Now I want to say that we subtract this from the sum of this and that. So first this has to come first. So the sum, sum, 
Some means what? Addition. So our first one, we can bring this bracket. We have half A minus B minus C. Plus, we have half A minus B minus C. So this is what we have, the sum of this and that. Minus, now we have half A minus B minus C. So that is subtracting this from the sum of this. And now let's see, we have A minus B minus C. We have A minus B minus C. So whatever is here is the same as whatever that is over there. And half plus half is just one. So this is just equal to half plus half is just one. So we have A minus B minus C minus we have half A minus B minus C. Why? This is the same as this. So half of this plus half of that, the same thing giving us one whole thing. That's what we have. Now let's see A minus B minus C. We have A minus B minus C. So one minus half. And this is just half A minus B minus C. This is very, very trivial. Or, or if you want to apply the distributive property. Now let's multiply through. We are going to have half A minus half B minus half C. Now multiplying through over here too. We are going to get plus half A minus half B minus half C. Now minus here we have half A minus half B minus half C. Now let's see, let's group like things from here. So we have half A plus half A. Then minus half B minus half B minus half B. Now let's see, minus half C minus half C. Minus we have half A minus half B minus half C. Now half A plus half A, that is full A. Negative half B minus negative, so that is negative B, negative C. That's negative half minus half, that's what you have there. Now minus, here more 22, we have minus half A plus half B plus half C. Negative and negative, positive, negative and negative, positive. Now from here we group like terms, so A, so this is, we have A minus half A, and then we have minus B plus half B minus C plus half C. Now A minus half A, that is half A. Negative B plus half B, that's negative half B. And then negative C plus um, half C, that is negative half C. Now from here, this is the same as this. When we apply the distributive property, you multiply, we are going to get the same thing as this. So we can bring the half out. We have A minus B minus C. So this is the same as that. But then if you have very good eyes and you understand the principles, yes, there's three steps, you'll be able to get it. Now let's consider the fourth one. The fourth question is by how much is the sum of 3x, 6x minus 5 plus 9x and 4x plus 1 less than 30? Now, we can also read this as if you have a minus b, we can say that b is less than a. Now, here, all that it means is that when you have this, that is, say by how much is the sum of this less than 30? So here we can rewrite this as 30x minus. Now we can add, we have 3x 
plus 6x minus 5 plus 9x plus 4x plus 1. So by how much is the sum of this? Less than 30. So 30x. We have 30x minus. We have to deal with the bracket. Now let's see 3x plus 6x. And this would give us that is 9x. 9x plus 9x. That is 18x. 18x plus 4x. That's 22x. So we have 22x. Now negative 5 plus 1. That is negative 4. And here we can multiply through with our negative. So you have 30 x minus 22x now negative times negative that is positive so you see plus 4 now 30x minus 22x and this is just 8x and we have plus 4 now let's consider this example we have the first one we have 3 4x minus 5, 3x minus 5, minus 1. Now, board mass, we have to deal with the bracket first. So we have 3 outside, 4x. Now, when you expand, you have negative 15x. That's negative 5 times 3, that's negative 15x. Negative 5 times negative 5, negative and negative, positive. So that will be plus 25 minus 1. Let's do with the bracket. So we have 33, 3. Now, let's see. 4x minus 15x. That's negative 11x. Plus, we have 25 minus 1. Now, 3 times negative 11. That is negative 33. We have negative 33x. 3 times 25, we have 75, and then we have minus 1. Now, 75 minus 1, this will give us that is 74. So our answer can be that is 74 minus 33x. We can also rewrite it at negative 33x plus 74. So the same thing. Now, let's see the second one. We have 8x minus 2, 5y plus 3, x minus y, bigger bracket minus, this bigger bracket, we have 2y minus, we have x minus 3y. Now from here, what do we do? First, we have to do with the bracket, board mass bracket first. So we have... 8x minus 2. Now, so we have 5y. 3 times x plus 3x. 3 times negative 5 minus 3y. And then we have negative. We have 2y. Negative, that will be negative x. Negative and negative. Positive 3y. So first, we have to um, add the bracket first. That is board mass. Bracket first. So here we have to 8x minus 2. Now let's see we have 5y minus 3y. So that would be 2y. Then plus 3x. We shouldn't forget that. Minus. Now let's see 2y plus 3y. And this will give us 5y minus x. 2y plus 3y. That is this. Now multiplying to the negative. So you have 8x. Negative and negative, we have negative 4y. Negative 2, we have negative 6x. Now, negative times this, that will be negative 5y. Negative and negative, we have positive x. Now, let's group like this. We have 8x minus 6x plus x. So, we have 8x minus 6x plus x. And then, we have negative... 4y minus 5y. Now, 
from here we have 8x minus 6x that will be um, 4 that will be 2x and 2x plus x so that is 3x and the negative 4y minus 5y that's negative 9y now let's consider the third one that is this one so we have 3ab minus 4ac plus um, this is giving us that is um, CAB that is the same as ABC minus we have 2AC plus AB minus 3AB now working out the bracket first so we have 3AB minus now we have 4AC plus ABC now expanding here that will be negative 2ac we have negative ab negative 3ab now we have 3ab minus now we have ac here ac here so 4ac minus 2ac this will just be 2ac now negative ab minus 3ab that will be negative 4 a B and we have plus A B C. Now here we have our three A B expanding that will be minus two A C and then we have plus four A B. Why plus data negative positive? Then minus A B C. Now three A B plus four A B and this will be just seven A B minus two A C minus A B see that's very very trivial these are all foundational topics in mathematics make sure you are strong in them now the books that you are seeing on the screen make sure you get a copy of it it contains a whole lot of examples that would give you a very firm foundation in mathematics now let's consider this example this is a past question two positive whole numbers p and q are such that p is greater than q no, we are being given that P is greater than Q, which implies that P minus Q will still be greater than zero. That will be positive. Now, than Q, and the sum is equal to three times their difference. So the sum, that is P plus Q, is equal to three times their difference. That is P minus Q. Hmm? The sum is equal to three times their difference. So the sum is equal to three times their difference. Hence, this P minus Q is positive. So there's no negative over here. Now, the ISIS which express P in terms of Q. So we want to express P in terms of Q. So making P the subject, so we have P plus Q. Now when you expand, we get 3P minus 3Q. This time there's 3P, this time there's 3Q. From here, we want to make P the subject, so let's take P over here, let's bring this also over there. So from here, we have um, Q plus 3Q. Why plus 3Q? Negative cross and positive. Equal to P plus, now we are bringing this to the left hand side, so we have already the 3P minus P. Now, Q plus 3q that will be 4q 3p minus p that will be 2p we want to find p so we divide both sides by what is multiplying the p which is 2 so we have 4q over 2 we have 2p all over 2 this will cancel that this will get 1 this will get 2 so we have p to be equal to 2q that is uh, p now the second one says that Hence, we should evaluate p square plus q square all over pq. So p square plus q square all over pq. Now let's see what is p. P is 2q. So wherever we see p, we put 2q over there. So we have 2q, and here we can put our square there plus q square all over our p. Our p is what 2q. 
times Q. Now, 2Q square. So if you have A, B, all to the power N, we say A, N, B, N. Hence, this will just be 4Q squared. 2 square for Q squared, I'll give us that. So plus Q squared. Now, let's see. We have 2Q times Q. And this will just be 2Q squared. Now, from here, what is 4Q squared plus Q squared? This is just 5Q squared. And then here, we have 2 Q square. What can we see? Q square and Q square. We can cancel out. It's the same thing. We can cancel out. So all that we have is 5 all over 2. Now I'd like to consider multiplication of two binomials. Here we apply the distributive law repeatedly. That is if we have A plus B and then we have C plus D. All that you need to do, you take the A, you multiply by everything in C plus D. And then you take the B also, you multiply by everything in the second term, which is C plus D. So that is, we take A, so A multiplied by C plus D, and then we take B plus B, we have C plus D. Now A times C, that is A, C. A times D, we have AD. B times C, we have BC. B times D, and this is giving us BD. Let's consider the following examples for better understanding. So let's consider the following example. Expand and simplify the following. First, x plus 2, x plus 3. So we apply the distributive law repeatedly. So we have x plus 2 x plus 3. So here, what are you supposed to do? We take the x, we multiply by the x plus 3. We take the 2, we multiply by x plus 3. So this is just, we have x, x plus 3. And then we take 2, we have x plus 3. Now x times x, and this is just x squared. x times 3, we have 3x. Now 2 times x, we have 2x. 2 times 3, we have 6. From here, we group like terms x squared. There's no x squared. So we have x squared. 3x plus 2x. That is 5x. And we have 6. Now let's see the second one. We have x minus 2. x plus 3. Now, first we pick our x. Multiply by everything. That is in the second one. So x plus 3. Then we pick negative 2. We multiply by we have x plus 3. Now, from here, x times x, that is x squared. x times 3, 3x. Negative 2 times x, we have negative 2x. Negative 2 times 3, we have negative 6. So we have x squared here. 3x minus 2x, that is yes. We have x, and this will give us, that is um, negative 6. Now let's see the third question. We have 3a minus 2b and then we have 4a plus 3b. So first we have to pick the first one, 3a multiply by everything, 4a plus 3b and then we take negative 2b. We have 4a plus 3b. Now 3 times 4 we have 12. A times A, that is A squared. Now 3A times 3B, that is 9AB. Negative 2B times 4A, that will be negative 8AB. The negative 2B times 3B, that will be negative 6B squared. Now from here, we have 12A square 9ab minus 8ab that will be ab and then we have 6b square now let's see the fourth question we have 3x plus 2 um, 2x minus 4 so here we take the 3x we multiply by everything in this so that will be 3x 
and then we have 2x minus 4 plus 2 we have 2x minus 4 now let's see 3x times 2x that is 6x squared 3x times this that was negative 12x now this time this plus 4x this time this we have minus 8 now from here we have 6x squared negative 12x plus 4x that will be negative um, 8x that's negative 8 negative 12 plus 4 that's negative 8 and then minus 8 now let's consider this example expand and simplify the following now the first one we have 3x plus 4 all square and this is just the same as 3x plus 4 3x plus 4 the same thing why if you have a square it means a times a so here this time this will give us that now we pick 3x multiply by everything here so 3x we have 3x plus 4 and then secondly we pick the 4 we have 3x plus 4 now 3x times 3x this will give us that is 9x squared 3x times 4 and this will give us 12x 4 times 3x this will give us 12x 4 times 4 and this will give us that is 16 so from here we get 9x squared 12x 12x the same so we can add that will be 24x and then plus 16 very very easy now let's see the second one we have 1 minus 2x all square and this is just 1 minus 2x we have 1 minus 2x now what do we do we pick one we multiply by everything so we have 1 minus we have 1 multiplied so we pick 1 we multiply by everything here 1 we have 1 minus 2x minus 2x we have 1 minus 2x now 1 times 1 that is 1 1 times negative 2x we have negative 2x negative 2x times 1 we have negative 2x now negative and negative positive 2 times 2 we have for x times x we have x squared from here we have 1 negative 2x minus 2x that's negative 4x and then plus 4x squared now let's consider the third one so we have 3x plus 1 now there's work on this we have to apply the distributive law repeatedly here so from here we have our 3x plus 1 but then this is what we have x minus 2 x minus 2 now so we have our 3x plus 1 plus we have to apply the dispute law here so we have x we have x minus 2 let us pick x multiply by everything here pick 2 x minus 2 now here we have 3x plus 1 x times x that is x squared minus 2x minus 2x plus 4 Neta negative that is 4 now we can group them we have x squared x squared bring x squared first now 3x negative 2x negative 2x they are the same so 3x minus 2x minus 2x now what do i have plus 1 plus 4 grouping like terms so we have x squared 3x minus 2x that is um, positive x positive x minus 2x that is negative x now 1 plus 4 and this is giving us 5 now let's see the fourth question we have 5x plus 2 minus x plus 2 or square now with this so this we have to work on this this okay so we have 5x plus 2 minus 
Now this negative is affecting everything here. So let me bring brackets here. And this is the same as x plus 2. x plus 2. The negative is affecting everything. Now I have 5x plus 2 minus. Now let me apply it here. So we have x. We have x plus 2. And then I'll pick the 2. x plus 2. Now from here I have 5x plus 2 minus expanding this this will give me x square this and this 2x I have plus 2x plus 4 why 2 times 2 4 2 times x that's 2x and this is just 5x plus 2 minus so I have x squared 2x plus 2x I have 4x plus 4 now I can multiply through with my negative so I have 5x plus 2 minus x squared minus 4x minus 4. Later I'm positive negative. Negative times positive negative. Negative times positive negative. From here I'll group like terms. Now I can break my negative x squared first. Now plus 5x. There's another x here minus 4x. And then I have plus 2 minus 4. Now so I have my x squared here. 5x minus 4x, that is just x. 2 minus 4, that is negative 2. Now let's work on this. The fifth one, we have 3x minus 1 squared plus x minus 1. Now there's 3 multiplying here. So we have our 3 multiplying it. Let's bring this bracket. So we have x minus 1, x minus 1. Let's close the bracket plus x minus 1. Now expanding this, so we have x, x minus 1, minus 1, x minus 1, plus we have our x minus 1. Now let's leave the 3 outside. x times x, we have x squared, x times negative 1, that's negative x. Negative 1 times x, negative x, negative times negative, we have positive, and then we have plus x minus 1. Now, we have our 3 outside x squared, negative x minus x. This will be negative 2x plus 1, plus our x minus 1. Now, expanding with our 3, that will be 3x squared minus 6x plus 3 plus x minus 1. Three times this, this, this time this, that, this time this, we have this. So our x minus 1. So we have 3x squared. Now negative 6x plus x, that will be negative 5x. 3 minus 1, that will be plus 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. Negative 6 plus the uh, x, that's negative 5x. I believe that you are learning a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and also the books that you are seeing on the, on the screen, make sure that you get a copy for yourself. Now let's consider this example. We have the i, that is 1 minus x all square plus x plus 2 all square. Now 1 minus x all square we can express as 1 minus x, 1 minus x. And x plus 2 all square we can express as x plus 2, x plus 2. Now we apply the distributive law repeatedly. So pick 1, you multiply by your 1 minus x. And then we pick the negative x, we multiply by the, everything 1 minus x. The same applies here, x, you multiply by x plus 2. We pick 2, we multiply by x plus 2. Now 1 times 1, you have 1. And then this is negative x. We have negative x plus, we have x squared, s times x, x squared. Now plus x times x, this is x squared plus 2x. x times 2, 2x two plus 2x. And then 2 times 2, we have 4. Now, from here, let's now group the terms. We have x squared, x squared. So we have x squared plus x squared. Now you have negative x minus x plus 2x plus 2x. And then we have 1 
plus 4. Now, x squared plus x squared, that is 2x squared. Now, negative x minus x, that's negative 2x. So, this negative 2x plus 2x, that's 0. So, we have plus 2x. And then 1 plus 4, and this is giving us 5. Now, let's see the second, let's see the second one. Now, the second one, we have 2x minus 3 squared, or minus 2x minus 3 square so here we have to apply the distributive law so here we have to put this into 2x minus 3x minus 3 here to 2x minus 3 2x minus 3 so we have r2 outside and this we get x minus 3 x minus 3 the 3 is, the 2 is multiplying everything here minus let's bring a bracket here now we have 2x minus 3 2x minus 3. We have to, the first thing, let's pick x and multiply by everything here. So you have x, x minus 3, minus 3 of x minus 3, minus, let's open our bracket here. Now 2x times this, we have 2x, 2x minus 3. And we have minus 3, this time so we have 2x minus 3. Now, we have to, let's open the bracket, x times x, this will be x squared, x times this, negative 3x, negative 3x, this times this, later negative, that's positive, 3 times 3, 9. Let's close the bracket, minus, we have, let's open our bracket, 2x times 2x, that is 4, x squared, 2x times this, that's negative 6x. Now negative 3 times this, that will be negative 6x, later negative, positive 3 times 3, 9. We have 2, we have our x squared, negative 3 is minus 3, that's negative 6x plus 9, minus. Now we have 4x squared. Now, negative 6x minus 6x, and this is negative 12x plus 9. Now, we can now expand by using the distributive property. We must bring the 2 out. So, 2 times this will give us 2x squared minus 12x plus 18. That is 2 times 9, 18. We have this. And then, what we with the negative here? We have negative 4 x squared plus 12 x y plus negative times negative positive then minus 9 now from here let's group the like terms we have 2 x squared minus 4 x squared x squared x squared bringing it together and then also now we have negative 12 x plus 12 x we have this and that that's what we have. And then from here, we have plus 18 minus 9. Now, 2x squared minus 2x squared minus 4x squared. That will be negative 2x squared. Now, this and this will cancel out. So, you have 18 minus 9. That will be plus 9. And we can rewrite this as 9 minus 2x squared. Now let's consider the third one. So we have 3x plus 1 all square minus 2, 2x minus 3 all square. So from here we have a equal to, so we have 3x plus 1, 3x plus 1 minus 2. And because this is multiple everything here, I'll bring a bracket, open a bracket. So you have 2x minus 3, 2x minus 3. Now you pick 3x, we multiply by everything here. So we have 3x, 3x plus 1. And then we pick 1, multiply by 3x plus 1, minus 2. Now let's deal with the 1 in bracket here. So 2x multiply by everything, so we have 2x 
and then you have 2x minus 3 minus 3 2x minus 3 now you can pause the video and then continue and see if the answer would tally now from here when we expand 3x times 3x that will be 9x squared 3x times 1 that will be 3x now one time this we are going to get 3x 1 times 1 that's 1 minus 2 we have to deal with the bracket first now 2x times 2x that is 4x squared 2x times negative 3 that's negative 6 x we have negative 6 x negative and negative positive 3 times 3 that is 9 now from here we have 9x squared 3x plus 3 that will be 6x plus 1 minus 2 now let's see here we get 4x squared negative 6x minus 6x that will be negative 12x plus 9 now from here we can now expand so we have 9x squared plus 6x plus 1 this time this that will be negative 8 x squared negative and negative that's positive 24 x negative one negative two times positive nine that's negative 18 so we group like terms from here so we have 9 x squared minus 8 x squared and then we have plus 6 x plus 24 x and then we have plus 1 minus 18 9x square minus 8x square that is x square now 6x plus 24x and this will give us 30x 1 minus 17 1 minus 18 that is negative 17 now let's go over and see if everything is done correctly so we have 3x plus 1 all square so we have 3x plus 1 3x plus 1 we have negative 2, we have 2x minus 3 squared, so 2x minus 3, 2x minus 3. Now here, this will give us, that is 3x times 3, 9x squared, 3x times 1, 3x, 1 times 3x, we have 3x, 1 times 1, and then we have 1, we have a negative 2 here, so we have 2x multiplied by 2x minus, we have 2x minus 3, and then we have negative 3 multiplied by 2x minus 3. So we have our 9x squared plus 3x plus that, and this would also 2x times 2x, that is 4x squared. This time there's negative 6x, we have negative 6 and negative, negative positive 9. So 9x squared, 3x plus 3x, 6x, 1 minus, so we have negative 6 minus 6x, that is negative 12x, and then we have 9. So here, multiplying to negative 2 times 4, that's negative it's square, later negative, we have positive 2 times 12, 24, 2 times 9, 18, negative, so negative 18. For a group like terms, 9x squared minus 8x squared, 6x plus 24x, 1 minus 18, that's what you have here, 9x minus 8x squared, x squared, 6 plus 24, so you have 30x, 1 minus 18, that is negative 17. Now let's consider this example. Expand and simplify the following. So um, the first one, we have 3AB minus, we have 4AC, AB minus, we have 2AC plus AB minus 3AB. Now the brackets are so important. And we see this and that because Everything is contained in these two brackets. Hence, this negative is affecting everything. And then also we can see there's a bracket, this bracket, and that bracket also contains everything over here. Now, so first thing for us to do is to deal with the bracket, board mass, first. So bracket first. So here we have our 3AB minus. Now let's work the inner bracket first. So we have 4AC plus Let's bring our bracket a b later and we have some minus 2 a c later and positive minus a b and then we have minus 3 a b so this is the inner bracket we are still not done still that one so we have 4 a c plus now a b 
minus AB will cancel out. So you, we have negative 2AC minus 3AB. So we have, and because we are done, we can let the brackets go away. AB minus AB will cancel. Negative 2AC uh, minus 3AB. So you have minus, okay, let's bring our bracket. You have minus 2AC minus 3AB. Now we have our 3AB minus, we have 4AC. Post a negative, that is negative 2AC. Post a negative, negative 3AB. So this bracket is no more. Now we can expand with this negative multiplying through. So we have a 3AB minus 4AC. Net and negative positive plus 2AC. Net times negative positive 3AB. Now 3AB here and then we have another 3AB. So 3AB, 3AB and this would give us 6AB. Now negative 4AC plus 2AC and this will give us minus 2AC. Now let's consider the second one. So you have 2A minus 3B plus 4C. We have 3AB plus we have A minus B minus we have 3A plus 3A plus 2C. We have 4C plus 2A. Now let's see, you can see, I was in this bracket and that bracket. So everything in it must be calculated first. So there's another inner bracket. So board mass bracket first. So the bracket is this one. So you have to work out this first. So this is equal to, we have our 2A minus. So you have 3B plus 4C minus. Let's multiply out. So we have our 3A minus B plus A minus B. And then this will be minus 3A minus 2C. This multiplying this. So you have minus 4C plus 2A. Now, we have 2A. And then let's see the inner one. So we have our 3B plus 4 C. Now let's see this. We have 3a plus a. That is 4a. 4a minus 3a. That is 3a. So you have minus. So 3, we have 4. 4a minus a. That's a. So that's a. 3a plus a. 4a. 4a minus 3a. That is just a. Now let's come to the b. Negative b minus b. So that will be negative 2b minus 2c. We have minus 4C plus 2A. We are still inside the bracket. Now there's negative, we can expand with the negative now. So we have our 2A minus, now this will give us 3B plus 4C. And then here will be negative A, negative and negative, positive 2B, negative and negative, positive 2C. And then here, we have negative 4C minus 2A. So we have our 2A minus, now let's work the inside first. Let's group the like time, this whole, so you have 3B plus 2B. You have C, 4C, so we have 4C plus 2C minus 4C. And then our A's, minus A, minus 2a. So we have our 2a minus. Now 3b plus 2b, that is 5b. 4c plus 2c, that is, 4, that is 6c. 6c minus 4c, that is 2c. So plus 2c. And then what do you have? A, we have negative A minus 2A, and that will be negative 3A. And from here, 
from here we'll be having that is 2a negative times positive so that'll be negative 5b and that is this negative and positive that's negative 5b negative times positive that'll be negative 2c and the negative times negative that'll be plus 3a now 2a plus 3a we have 5a so we have minus 5b minus 2c and this is very very trivial